Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Uh, you know that uh, sometimes I use this expression, there is no smoke without a fire. And sometimes you look at the fire being the source and see how uh, credible the source is. In this case, we have the source being a Swiss, from Switzerland, um, newspaper. And it has a very uh, good uh, credibility, the newspaper. But let's get, um, let's get the article going here, which is a response of the Russian Federation to some reports that US, the United States of America, offered Moscow a secret Ukraine peace plan. So this article comes from Reuters, credible, right? Uh, <clears throat> no, I'm not talking about that, this one being credible. I'm just uh, talking about the newspaper that broke the news about the report. So um, it says that Russia rejects reports that US offered Moscow secret Ukraine peace plan. Now, Moscow, the Kremlin on Friday today rejected a, and I'm quoting, hoax media reports that US CIA director William Burns had traveled to Moscow with a secret peace proposal that involved Ukraine ceding a fifth of its territory to Russia. So what? 20% out. Um, then the Swiss newspaper, the Neue Zürcher Zeitung report. So this is uh, the original source of this little report, Neue Zürcher Zeitung, which said Burns had made a secret trip to Moscow last month to put forward the plan on behalf of the White House has also been dismissed by Washington. Ask whether Burns had traveled to Moscow or put forward a plan that involved Ukraine ceding 20% of its territory, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters, and I'm quoting, that whole report is a hoax, end quote. Well, well, that's a hoax, huh? Well, if it's a hoax, uh, you know, first thing you do, okay, why would you say it's a hoax? Well, because it's a hoax. Okay, who said it? Uh, Neue Zürcher Zeitung. Well, let's see Neue Zürcher Zeitung and see what kind of... Um, uh, media outlet it is because obviously if you have I don't know Daily Beast or something like that making these kind of claims you were like yeah 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 you know what I mean but it's a Swiss newspaper they might have their um, version of uh, Daily Beast over there or I don't know People magazine or whatever but let's see who is this guy the Neue Zürich Zeitung. So I went to Wiki, Wikipedia, which, you know, it's a um, this kind of uh, source. It says, the Neue Zürich Zeitung, New Journal of Zürich, is a Swiss German language daily newspaper published by Neue Zürich Zeitung media, media Group in Zürich. The paper was found in 1780. So that tells you a lot, okay? When it was founded, <laughs> that's a lot of years over there, okay? That's what, two centuries over there at least? More than two centuries, right? Ah, it was described as having a reputation as a high-quality newspaper. Did you hear that? So, first thing, it was founded two centuries ago, right? Then you have, has a reputation as a high-quality newspaper. And then as the Swiss-German newspaper of record and for objective and detailed reports on international affairs. So what do you think, my friends? I think uh, Neue Zürcher Zeitung is kind of like at a 99%, uh, I would say, credibility. Now, circulation. It has right here, weekend edition, archive, we don't go over that. What, but what interests me is reputation, high quality newspaper, right? An objective and detailed report on international affairs and as a Swiss German newspaper of record. A newspaper of record is a major national newspaper with large circulation whose editorial and the news gathering functions are considered authoritative. So they have the authority, that's the, like the bottom line and independent. So they don't 
are not on the Russians, not on the American side in this case, right? There are thus newspapers of record by reputation, right? And include some of the oldest and most widely respected newspapers in the world. So I don't think that uh, Neue Zürcher Zeitung up. I think uh, the smoke that we see, they try to put blankets over or something, you know, get the oxygen off. But I think the fire is big and I think it's real. That's my assessment. I have no evidence, but uh, I don't believe those guys who tell me that nothing happened. Why would I believe them? They're politicians, they're spoke spokespeople. That's what they do. They cover, they interpret. They, um, you know, they uh, give you whatever they have to give you. Now, let's say it didn't happen. Well, everything would be okay. And then never happened. Neue Zürcher Zeitung is a liar. Okay. Okay. Let's put it that way. Then we have the other option. It happened. Okay. If it happened, why would both sides, both parties deny it? Is it because it would make uh, uh, Ukraine look bad? I think so. Uh, it will look United States bad, look bad? Yes. Why? Because yeah, the person who comes with a proposal uh, is usually the person, uh, you know what I mean? That's how you do. So I guess it, uh, you don't do it from a position of, of strength unless you, you know, you impose something. And I think there was a proposal which means, hey, hey let's talk about it. This is it. Now, I don't know why necessarily the CIA uh, director had to come secretly. All right, send another weasel. Oh, you don't trust other weasels? Look, you send uh, the CIA director and still Neue Zürcher Zeitung say what? You know what I mean? And beep, 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 beep. That's what it is. That's what it is. Um, so I think it would be an embarrassment to uh, report. Now, Russia plays dip uh, diplomatically. And it doesn't say, yes, 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 they came and we just said, no, we're not interested. Why? Because they could have embarrassed the United States of America. If that occurred, the United States of America said, no, no, no. And the Russians would say, yeah, 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 here, this is the plan. Would have embarrassed the Americans greatly. But they didn't do this if the whole thing is true. And I said, I'm inclined very much to think and to believe that uh, this article might have had uh, uh, a lot of truth in it. And the, the fact that I checked the credibility of the newspaper and authority, and, uh, you know, it's a good, important Swiss uh, newspaper. Now, I don't know if uh, the Swiss dropped their sta its, its standards like uh, most people in more con most countries in the West did in the past, I don't know, 50 years or so. But... Um, as of now, I didn't hear anything bad about it over there. So, what could have been the proposal? Giving 20% of uh, Ukraine's? Well, there's more than that because you can give them 20%, uh, but if you say, yeah, but the rest 80% is going to be in NATO, you don't want that. That was the whole purpose or the main purpose was the security guarantees that the um, Russians wanted. And obviously, uh, make sure that the Russian population in Donbass in you know, the eastern side of uh, Ukraine is not massacred or anything by anybody. Yeah, it was. And then make sure that those guys in uh, Ukraine are not becoming a failed state or a uh, NATO member state. I don't think they cared if it became a European uh, uh, Union state. Uh, they never said anything about that. They had a problem with NATO, with military. Anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.